y'all it's hope at crafty hope and welcome to my icad um number 39 i am working on these index cards a day they were done in june and july and i am still working on trying to get them out to y'all it's probably going to be into october before i finish sharing these with y'all so i hope you're enjoying seeing a little glimpse of this and let me know if you're getting tired of it but i'm enjoying you know sharing these little snippets and trying to throw in some other stuff too so index card today i had two prompts on this day which were nautical and glitter i don't know if you saw the thumbs down on there but i did not like the nautical prompt and i'll get to the glitter one kind of um so what i'm doing here is just collaging the background throwing some scrap paper at this index card and using my Uhu glue stick to stick it down. And I'm having a good time with this. In the end, you don't really see hardly any of the stuff that gets put on this page, even though it's some really yummy stuff. Like I said, it's all kind of scraps and ephemera and stuff I found. That is actually, somebody had sent us some soap, I think, from Japan. And that was a little piece of paper that was wrapped around it or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But I was like, this is some pretty nice paper. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to keep it. That's what you do as a mixed media artist. You kind of keep a little bit of everything um, because you never know how you're going to use it. All right. So I have covered up every little bit of this card. I kept it really neutral here. And now I'm coming in with a little bit of, I believe that's turquoise from Dina Wakely. I like this color. And I guess to me that can be considered a little nautical. It's sea-like, even though it's not boat-like. I think nautical is more boat-like, isn't it? I think so. Um, and speaking of, yeah, boat and sea-like, I'm using deep sea acrylic paint. That's a, it's like the Target brand of acrylic paint. Um, let me see if I've got it here. The brand is Handmade Modern. I have not been able to find it online, but you, um, I think Target still sells it. I grabbed a couple of colors one day and this happened to be one of them. So, and I'm just using my finger here to spread that deep sea color around and am I going to try this? Oh, we're going to see. I decided I washed out some of my turquoise there. So I'm going to add a little, a little bit more of that turquoise. I do love, y'all, this looks like some of my other cards that like a dark blue and a light blue <laughs> blended together is really something I enjoy. And I think I used my scraper there just to kind of pull out some of the excess paint that was on there. And um, Oh, and also when I use my finger, despite... The fact that I really like getting my hands in there to blend things. I always end up seeing like fingerprints in there. And that drives me crazy that I can see the texture of my fingerprints. I don't know why that bothers me so much. But it does. Alright, so there I took my Stabilo All Pencil in Black. And just did some scribbling. Drew a line straight across the page. I really don't know what the purpose of that was. I think maybe there was a seam there. And now I'm going to dry everything. Now I've got this Bria Reese um, glitter ink and that's how I'm bringing glitter in here and it's in a bright pink and I am just, yeah, putting that straight there on the page and I'm going to take my paintbrush and move it around. And in some of those areas you can see it kind of turns like a purpley color on top of that darker sea, um, deep sea, that's what it was, that deep sea color. So and I'm letting it kind of drip and move around and then I'm going to dry it. So I've got, that's a Dilusions spray ink in white and of course it's clogged. So I am, y'all, I have found that sometimes you can spray from the bottom of a clogged spray thing. Like if you pull it out of there and press the top nozzle, um, it'll spray out the bottom. So <laughs> that's what I was doing there. Um, it does make a mess. So it kind of, there's no direction to it or anything. It just kind of splurts out. So I got that on the page, and as you can see, it kind of, um, I didn't do a whole lot. The white didn't really stay in there. It kind of went straight into that glitter ink, and um, yeah, just made that color a little more opaque in some areas. So I'm going to do some mark making, and I'm using, I have found a love for Black India ink lately. I think that um, 
Amy Bishop's fault. Amy, she's Amy Ireal on Instagram, but I watched some of her videos and she was using some India ink to do some stamping and stuff. And y'all, I bought some and I love, love black India ink now. <laughs> so I'm using it here to just put down some marks and I'll probably dry it again. Do you love my heat gun too? Now, since my white ink did not work to get some splatters down, I have pulled out my white Sharpie pen and I am pressing it down and um, letting that ink kind of flow to the front of it. And then, as you can see, splashing that on there. This makes great opaque white splashes. A, um, a white acrylic ink will also work pretty well. So, but this worked pretty quick without having to pull all that out. And then I've got a butterfly stamp on, it's just on some white paper that I had in my stash, something I stamped. And I am going to stick it down with my Ohun glue stick. And then I think I'm just going to turn to my handy dandy small talk stickers from Tim Holtz and find the words, don't forget to fly. And I think that's going to be it. I'm going to show you some pictures of this card, let you have a good look at it. And, oh wait, I'm going to go around that word with a Sharpie felt tip pen. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come back and see what else I've got in store and keep on crafting on. Thanks for watching. Bye.